The Swedish government has tasked the Defense Material Administration with exploring the possibility of establishing a presence in Ukraine from autumn 2024. This decision could lead to the stationing of several Swedish officials in Ukraine to provide on-site support for defense procurement, as announced by Swedish Defense Minister Paul Johnson, according to Forsvasekton Nayeta. While there is a strong military support in terms of equipment and training, Ukraine's most allies, including the US and Germany, have been clear in their reluctance to deploy boots on the ground largely due to concerns over escalating the conflict and triggering a direct confrontation with Russia. The expanded role of Defense Material Administration is part of the government's efforts to intensify support for Ukraine. The Swedish officials expected to work from the Swedish embassy in Kyiv will focus on ensuring maintenance, spare parts and logistics for the military aid Sweden has already provided. We have provided extensive military support to Ukraine and Defense Material Administration plays a crucial role in securing supply solutions, Johnson stated. Sweden's military support to Ukraine has so far consisted of 16 aid packages, totaling about $4,166 billion. The donated equipment includes combat vehicle Stridsforden 90, Stridswagen 122 tanks, Archer artillery systems and various types of anti-tank missiles, and advanced ammunition. FMV's new mission will include analyzing and learning from how this equipment has performed in combat. We naturally want to bring home lessons from this, Johnson emphasized. Defense Material Administration's role is also linked to the fact that Sweden's defense material resources are becoming limited. Johnson stressed that Sweden must now transition from donation surplus equipment to producing new equipment specifically for Ukraine. In addition, Sweden has ordered about 1,000 CV-90 combat vehicles for Ukraine, which will be produced at facilities in Sweden and the Netherlands and delivered to Ukraine. Ukraine is expected to receive the first vehicles from the Netherlands in 2026, which will also be manufactured in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is investing more than 400 million euros in a Swedish fund to ensure the production of CV-90 combat vehicles for Ukraine. Ебана Россия, сука. Вон его поднимай сюда. Вот туда. Туда пришел, блядь. Ладно, я свою бутылку, блядь, потрачу на них нахуй. Да, да, да все, закрой ебло, блядь. Да, Мне да, похуй, что да, срочник, да, блядь. Шесть человек О, срочник. Поебать вообще, блядь. Не, ну. Не найдешь, а там какие-то эластичные. Вот сука, блядь. На нашей земле такую беду принесли пидорасы, блядь. На, пей. Ебло закрой, сука. Oh, <laughs> Russia's Tu-22M3 strategic bomber has crashed in Cheremkovsky district in Russia's Irkutsk region, local media reported on Thursday. The Russian Defense Ministry confirmed the reports, stating that the Tu-22M3 crashed in the Irkutsk region during a scheduled flight. The crew members have ejected, 
and the cause of the accident was a technical malfunction. According to residents of Mykolovka village, the plane crashed not far from the settlement. Before the crash, it caught fire. The bomber took off from the Belia airfield in the neighboring Yusalsky district. It should be noted that the cost of the aircraft is estimated at around 300 million US dollars. There is no information about the condition of the crew members yet. Footage from the crash site of the 2-22M3 bomber was broadcast by Russian telegram channels. Это что такое? Это что такое?